FreeMMOStation.com What's up guys, it's Cyan, we're back at FreeMMO Station, and I'm taking a look at Dauntless today. Now, parts of this video is going to be sped up and parts is not, and what I wanted to do is actually get you a lot of content and a lot of actual information and a timely matter, so I kept this around 10 to 12 minutes. So what you're basically looking at right now is the customization with Dauntless, and it's pretty interesting because the customization pretty much works off of in the baseline of, of male character or female. It could be same gender if you want it to be, but that's your ancestry, it's like, as you can see right there, and that kind of determines like the base look of your face. Now, you can customize that afterwards, but I thought this was pretty cool. Cool. and they should actually flesh this out a little bit more and make it so like you know literal if it, if it wants to be same sex it can't be same sex but make it like okay james was your dad and and Cora was your mother and they had stories of their own like this they can have baseline stories it doesn't have to be different stories all the way around but you know and then okay they came together and then now you're the son and you have to carry on their legacy like they, they they're right there they just need to do a little bit more with it give it a little bit of lore Maybe even some voice acting, I don't know, because there's not a lot of voice acting in this game. It's, the voice acting is, like, really on the subpar side. Like, they, they need to add a lot more. So this is closed beta, so it's not that they can't add it in the future, and it's not that they can't do something like that with this particular customization. It's okay customization. It's not Blade and Soul or Black Desert type of customization. Even, like, I, it's all right. Even Perfect World was, is, is a little bit more on par and better than this overall customization, but it is good. Don't get me wrong, it is good. It is, it's definitely better than some of the, the, the other ridiculous stuff that we have out there, like World of Warcraft. Like, that customization is just terrible, and it's been terrible for like 15 years, and nobody says anything. So, I give this a pass if, if Warcraft is allowed to do that for that long. As you can see right here, I'm going in. I was trying to even out my face, and I even changed my ancestry a little bit because I wasn't happy with how my face was looking. It was like I was too bony. I was like, dang, I'm not that bony in real life. I wanted to at least look a little bit like me. I got the eyes a little bit, the hazel, like myself. So, worked out. Worked out. We, 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 we got it there. We got it there. We even got the Afrocentric nose going on right now. So, I was pretty happy overall with this. That, you know, I'll give it a pass. I can do it. I can handle this. Now, the name of the game is pretty much like Monster Hunter. Get in there. You drop off on your ship. This kind of reminds me a little bit of Destiny and Warframe. You drop on your ship. You land on the island. And you got to hunt the monster. The monster is going to be somewhere. It is always going to be random. You see, and I, this particular monster I had to hunt was the Nasher. And you just run in. You can farm. You can farm up items if you wish and if you need to be. And you just, as soon as you get there, find the Nasher, which this is the Nasher right here. And he pretty much aggroes you and gets mad. And you pretty much have to beat his behind. And that's kind of the basis of the game right there. Don't, no, that's not it. But that's the basis of the game. You come in, loot, all like, like pick up resources or reagents and then fight the monster and depending on where you hit the monster you can cut off some of the monster's tails you cut off some of their tusk what you need for armor you can even cut off their head certain certain monsters their head comes off and you actually get that as like a prize at the end it doesn't come off during the fight but if you hit it in the head enough times then you get the the head main as a part and it's usually for the the, the helmet or the chest piece or something like that but it's pretty cool you can cut off the quills you cut off various things and it just makes it fun overall pretty much the same way monster hunter is so in this in the essence what you want to do is just keep beating on it you will see at a point they'll start to see like you know weapon damage to the monster it'll start limping it'll start showing that it can't do the same moves anymore it'll still try but linger and fall over that's when you know you're pretty much winning and you said pretty much i spanked him down and he fell over now it's pretty cool overall that the, um, the monsters do have behavior some of them act a little bit differently than others there's no other real monsters here but yeah now after you get your loot you want to come in and look good so this is where you come into the, the armor crafter and like you know just kill the nasher so i got the nasher helmet now and i don't have enough for the other stuff because you see it's red but i do have enough for gloves so i pretty much pick up the gloves so now i'm gonna have the helmet and the gloves looking sexy and that's the whole point if you're gonna kick something's behind you can kill these big behemoth monsters you should might as well look good doing it 
pretty much right here you see me putting the helmet on that was my first helmet and i put the gloves on so now i got some nice toasty gloves for myself and looking sexy like so you should just stand there like look at me now the end result of all of that after you farm enough is you start to end up with this big i guess this is like a leather bomber like back in the 80s and 90s i got me a leather bomber and i got the fur too so i guess i'm like a, a monster hunter pimp <laughs> All right, so next up you have cores at the end of a mission you get these things called cores And it's gonna be a Nasher core. It's gonna be an ether core or something like that depending on your luck You even get a style core which will allow you to actually style and customize your gear a little bit more I haven't gotten any of those at all kind of sucks that I haven't but I just have not But as you can see you get these various reagents and some cores are better you even get um if you get the founders pack you get intro level cores which would make things a whole lot easier for you it doesn't necessarily make anything pay to win because you still got to go kill the bosses but there's actually resources that you can get like rare resources that make things just faster it's kind of like pay to be lazy to be honest with you so at its core function this game is a lot of fun fighting with a team and having a little bit of strategy you don't need a whole lot and you can actually play and never actually talk to anybody at all which some people would say is not that cool, but a lot of people would say as a, um, a game Probably a little bit going after the casual audience It's good for that because you just want to come in you want to get your loot You want to beat up monsters and you just want to have some fun Monsters themselves are fun. It will get a little bit repetitive because you're gonna have to fight these same monsters Maybe five to ten times depending on your luck depending on what loot drops and depending on what you have to do If somebody if a friend has to go kill something so you definitely want to keep that in mind and That is going to be repetitive So you're gonna to need to want to be able to handle that because it just is what it is at that point now going forward as you can see here I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of a breakdown of what happens when you go into the actual fight. And you see me run up on this guy. This is real time. And this is a very fast mob. He is going to, he has a horn in his head. You see, he just runs off. What you want to do is just keep your line of sight on him and make sure that he doesn't do what he just did right there. I don't know how he missed me right there. That was luck. But. You want to keep on to him. Now every monster has different attacks and this one is more of a faster monster. He doesn't have a lot of health, but he can like necessarily do a lot of damage to you if he gets a bead on you with that horn and gores you to death. You see he just ran off like this. So now he's he's basically looking over. He's going to go after those two and he hit him. And so the majority of him, the damage that he put on him. Now you can knock off this monster's horn if you get enough shots on the horn and you see basically um, I got a swipe on him while he ran by on his back leg and that made him fall over. That was luck. I wasn't really trying to do that. I was trying to get him when you, before he even ran off but I turned around and then I swung by accident and that pretty much clipped him and that caused him to fall over. Little things like that is cool because it's it, it's more realistic because if you do hit something that big in the damn leg it's going to fall over. Now you just saw right here he has that hammer. He smacked him in the face real quick and that knocked him over. Same thing can happen if he hits him while he's running too. If he hits him. See, he could have hit him right there, but he didn't. He tried to hit me. He missed me and pretty much fell over. So now we're just beating this behind really quick. <laughs> Overall, I have fun in this game. The one thing I will caution you is that it's very weird overall. Like, in the city, I lag hard for some reason. I know there's a lot of people in the city, but in the in actual game world, no lag. Nothing whatsoever. It's smooth. It's butter. 60 FPS. I'm fine. But in the city, oh my god. I'm like, can you please optimize the city? Or can I cut off looking at everybody? Because I don't... It's just it's terrible. Now you see basically the monster ran off and we have to go track them all over again. You can go farming, but you only have a certain amount of time in the actual zone. So you want to make sure that you actually take the guy down before the time runs out. And there's also a danger meter, which I was told that you do not want to let that go too far. I don't know exactly what that does, but I've never actually let the danger meter go too high or go too far and not kill the guy. So it's what it is when it comes to that. Pretty much, if you're looking for an alternative to Monster Hunter, this is like an alternative to Monster Hunter. I don't want to call it a clone because it is definitely different. The combat is different. There's no range right now. I don't know if they're ever going to actually even put range in this, but it's pretty cool the way it is right now. And I would suggest you guys actually get in and try it. It will be free to play when it comes out. Right now, it's not free to play. You have to do Founders and CBT type of stuff to get in. But 
I would suggest it because it's no, it's going to be free to play, and who who wouldn't want to play a free to play Monster Hunter like game? It just you know, it's, it's a no brainer at the end of the day. So that's all I got for you guys right now. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got some like out of it if you decide if you want to get a founders pack or something like that. And I'll see you soon. So thank you for watching me. Thank you for watching Free Station. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon.